Have you ever wondered how we would communicate with aliens? Have you ever wondered how we'd tell them where we are? Like, if we sent a message out into the stars, how would they know where to find us? Well, we've actually done this. This is what NASA tried to solve with the Pioneer plaque and then later the Voyager Golden Record. Both of these messengers were attached to probes that we sent into interstellar space. In fact, the Voyager 1 probe is currently the farthest human-made object from Earth. On both the Pioneer plaque and the Golden Record is something called the Pulsar Map. It looks simple, it's just a bunch of lines radiating from a central point, but it's actually directions to our place. I've mentioned on this channel before that pulsars are like cosmic lighthouses, and they work for this analogy in more ways than one. Not only does their rotation cause them to appear to flash, just like a lighthouse, but they can also be used for interstellar navigation. Lighthouses guide ships in the sea, and pulsars guide ships in space. How does this map work? Well, each line points to a pulsar, with its rotation period encoded in the smaller lines. More on this in another video. These spin rates should allow aliens to identify the pulsars that we've drawn on the map, and then use them to triangulate the sun's position. Not only that, because pulsars spin down very slowly and in predictable ways, anyone could, in theory, use them to figure out where and when we sent the probe. This set of abstract lines is not only a map in space, but in time. How do those lines actually encode a spin period? How do we communicate time to aliens? And was it a good idea to even tell them where we are? More on that in some follow-up videos.